Russian outlet Astra, referring to its own sources, reports about an attack of two UAVs on the Russian Borisoglebsk Aviation Training Center for training flight personnel of frontline bomber and attack aviation in the Voronezh region. The facade was reportedly damaged. New video of Magyar from the left bank of the Dnieper. An important commander of the invaders arrives. Magyar shows where the Russian commander hid his car, far away. The occupiers enter the house. Ukrainian drone from above the house near the roof. A powerful explosion that collapses the house in which the invaders are hiding. The cat jumps out the window from a collapsing house. The cat runs far away. Mission accomplished. Orsk residents who lost their homes in the flood caused by the government are quite angry. This video cuts off, but a person also threatened Putin's enforcers that people like them who've lost everything will be dangerous. A boat with people capsized during an evacuation from a flooded area in the Samara region of Russia. Two children were in it. Telegram channels close to Russian security forces specify that the driver was drunk. <laughs> Meanwhile, in flooded Orsk, a man tried to close his house, although the water was already up to his waist. Rescuers unsuccessfully persuaded him to get back into the boat. Regarding the situation in Orsk with the burst dam, we are asking why things seem to be collapsing all over Russia. In short, it's all about rampant corruption, massively compromising maintenance and construction. So what is going on in Orsk? It all started with Rurik. Although no, that was a different story. It all started back in 2010, when during construction corruption consumed up to 80% of the total funds amount. This is the average amount that goes into the pockets of officials and project managers in Russia. Having stolen the money, the leaders of the region and the Kremlin are doing their best to ignore the problem and try to shift the blame to others. The construction cost 870 million rubles, but instead of concrete walls, earthen embankments were erected. Of course, they were built in violation of technology. This year, due to heavy floods, the dam could not stand it, and on April 6th, it broke. Now the city of Orsk is flooded, and water continues to flow. According to the design, this dam was supposed to withstand a greater rise in water. But this is Russia. Blame shifting has begun on the internet and on television. One of the construction managers spoke on TV and put forward several of his versions. According to him, it is possible that someone illegally laid sewer pipes under the dam. But his main theory is rodents that chewed through the dam. He also said that he was not responsible for how the dam was looked after after the project was completed, and it had a warranty period of three years. This is even less than the warranty on a washing machine. The authorities began evacuating only on April 7th, but the city administration now claims that it gave the signal a week ago, and it is the fault of local residents that they did not evacuate. But no one sees the Kremlin's fault in this. A typical story about a good czar and bad boyars? Responsibility lies directly with the state, on the system that Putin built. Against the backdrop of war, people are stealing more than ever. Many people in power consider themselves unpunished, and all they have to do is attach the letter Z somewhere. Nothing is maintained, the Ministry of Emergency Situations does not function, dams are collapsing, bridges are falling, as happened today in the Smolensk region. The bridge, built in the 1980s, collapsed, and several people were injured and killed. More and more such disasters will occur.
Previously, Russia had at least some funds to restore infrastructure and deal with emergency situations, and most importantly, some small compensation to keep people silent. Now everything is spent on the war in Ukraine. Many people who could join the ranks of the Ministry of Emergency Situations and construction workers are mobilized to the front to kill citizens of a neighboring country. As a result, any emergency turns into a disaster. This is how it was in the winter with boiler houses and heating. This is how it will be in the summer with fires. And this is how it is now due to the influx of water. Therefore, if the residents of Russia believe that war and dictatorship do not concern them, because their hut is on the edge, then they can ask the residents of Orsk and Orenburg what is happening to such huts. American M67 grenades against the Russian T-72B3M model 2022 tank. A German farmer works in Ukraine despite the war. I like it here. I feed thousands, tens of thousands of people. Thank you, sir. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.